Welcome back to the channel everyone. Today we're working back on the 52 Chevy project. This time we're actually going to be working on replacing the panel that goes right here on the driver's side that's been completely dented because the doors opened up too much. Bashed in this complete panel here. It's got an entire crease all the way down the side here. I tried pounding it out. Totally messed up how the door aligns. We need to take the door off, get this panel cut out right in this section here. It's rotted over here so this is going to come completely out. We've got a completely new panel we're going to weld in right now. I'm using a completely different mic right now, so I'm not sure how this is actually going to sound. I'm using a Rode Wireless Go mic instead of my lapel mic because I broke one of the lapel mics. I want to have a microphone working for both of us when Dave and I are working, so let me know in the comment section down below how does this mic sound right now to you compared to my wireless mics that I've been using in the past. So we're going to get working on this right now. We're going to get the door taken off. We're going to get this panel replaced, so let's do it. You can see right here, one of the biggest problems we're having is when this door opens, it comes all the way forward like this, and it doesn't stop. It keeps going forward, and that's what creased this panel all the way down here. Tried pounding it back out. It didn't help at all. So now the door's having a hard time. You can hear it kind of rubs right along in here. I think this panel's all shifted funky. So what we're going to do is we're going to take this door off, get this panel taken out, get the new panel welded in, hopefully get the door all aligned correctly. So then, next up after this, we're gonna actually work on doing the, the door latches, the power windows coming up. So right down in here, we've got, let's see, uh, three bolts right around this section, and then three bolts down in here. We gotta take this panel off, I believe. Dave just got here, so we're gonna start working on this right now. Hopefully get this door off. Now we're working on getting rid of the tin. So, what is that? Lead. Lead. It's delicious and nutritious. Pulls in. As you can see, we actually got the door off just to make it easier to work on this panel. So there's three bolts right here that hold the upper hinge on as well as the bottom hinge. Those actually came out perfectly, no stripping of the bolt or anything. You can see down here, it's kind of bent a little bit. So once we get this panel off here, we're going to try to bend this back out where it's supposed to be a little bit. I tried to pound on it, which just ended up bending it worse. So we just need to straighten this inner bracket just a little bit to make this nice and smooth across this section here. And we actually used a torch up here and we melted out all the lead up here to reveal the spot welds. Got those all popped out. The, the worst part of this panel is this crease right down along here, which is why we're replacing it. And up in this section here, we want to make sure everything lines up perfectly. So we're not sure exactly what we're going to do yet. We might just cut it right across here and splice it in right there or splice it up here at the seam all the way across here to make it easier and just weld that back in together right at the seam. Because everything down here is rotted a little bit. The intersection's not perfect, but it's not bad either. So the door's off. It's over here right now. That came off real easy. There's a panel right down here you have to take off. 
I believe it's six screws or five screws to get that panel off, which reveals the three bolts that get the hinge off from this side right here. See those three bolts right in there? You gotta undo those. Gotta undo them up here, right there. And then the whole door slides off the hinge. And we took the actual hinge right off completely. So right now we are going to be working on trying to replace this panel and get this squared away today. This will be a major milestone in the truck because this is probably the worst panel in the entire truck other than some lower cab panels right here. A little bit on the lower of the fenders there, but it's coming along pretty good. So right now there's a, a metal, <coughs> what is it, a metal bar that goes across underneath there that he's yeah, unscrewing. Pinches the uh, pinches the rubber gasket from the bottom of the frame, the cab frame. So. Get you in close so you can see what he's doing there. So there's a bar though on here that just needs to get unbolted or unscrewed. It's got these clutch head screws holding it in place. Dave has the clutch headed screw bit, and of course the one that's slightly stripped is the one we're having problems with. So this is the piece of rubber that's supposed to look like an L. I cut it off. Yeah. So it was in my way when I was working on stuff. So that gets trapped between this guy and the bottom of this thing, and this holds it in place. It actually doesn't look too bad of shape considering the age of things. I think we need to cut here and here. Like Draw out the spot wells right along here to try to get this whole panel out. It's all free up in this location right here. This right there we need to get out, right there. Well, the truck used to be green. Yeah, the majority of them were green. Let's cut that off. We're going to cut this little lip off the front, the face of the firewall. We're going to weld right down the edge and then round that off nice and smooth. You'll never be able to see it once the hood's in the way. And is it'll it, be just as sturdy. Is it correct? No. Yeah. yeah. Is it going to work for us? Yes. You're damn right. <laughs> All right, so we're going to throw this in the sandblaster. Whee! So right now we're going to sandblast this piece of the internal structure. We're going to clean up because it's pretty nasty right now. So we're going to sandblast this in the cabinet right now. Away we go. Good enough. So it actually came out pretty good for a quick once over with the sandblaster. Not perfect, but not nearly as shitty either. Clecos, use the clecos. Clean clothes. Clean clothes. Use the clean, clean clothes. Clean clothes. Well, the best thing with the old clecos are is it puts it in the same spot every time, no matter what you do, wherever you put it at. All right, so right now we've got this entire panel all clecoed into place. You can see them all there. Everything lines up really nicely. 
this line up here is parallel with this line right here. This will all get welded up and then smoothed over with some filler. This line right along here lines up perfectly with this line coming down for the front of the door. Over here we put the bolt in here so everything fits perfectly and sucked it up nicely right there. These lines right here line up nice and neat and there's going to be a gasket running down across here so you're not going to see any of that. And all of the holes for the fenders line up just like they should between the inner structure and the actual panel. So this is coming out really good right now. Alright, so right now we're going to remove all the Clecos because we need to punch this panel a whole bunch of times to spot weld this thing back in place. Don't punch it. <laughs> Don't punch it, Dave. <laughs> naughty, naughty Dave. Hulk smash! So once we get all these punched back, we can kind of put stuff back into place and start getting it tacked into place because we do have everything nicely lined up. We're taking the Clecos out, so we'll use the Clecos to put it all back together. We'll know exactly where it's going to go back together, where it should go. Alright, very simple. Slide the guide in. You're gonna look down the outside raw right hair, find wherever you want to put it at, pull the trigger. Fire in the hole. It worked. Very simple. Right where it needs to be. Rinse and repeat 600 times. So right now what I'm going to work on before, though. is right in here, it's kind of rotted out. You can see in here, it's rotted out and we need to have this nice curved shape down below. So I'm going to make a strap that goes in here, welds on the inside, welds up along here to make this nice and solid. Then we're going to make a piece that comes out here and comes over here to fill this all in, plug this hole up here. We don't want water coming in here the best we can keep out. We've got this thing pretty much straightened out. This strap back here was bent all, the all out of hell. So we're gonna clean this up with a wire wheel, get this welded back into place now that we have this thing straightened back out. So yeah, we've got a bunch of little patch panels to make. We're working our way from the inside out, making this nice and secure. Dave? Definitely. And now we're going to take this to the brake and bend this at 90 degrees. 90. 90 degrees. So we've got this marked halfway down. We're gonna do a 90 degree bend on this. Hopefully. There we go. So now this should perfectly bend to the shape we need, in theory. All right, so David and I made some awesome progress on this so far. He had to take off. I'm gonna continue working on this right now. I'm gonna remove the Clecos. I'm gonna take this panel off. We're gonna continue working on the substructure or the inner structure, because we have to build this from the inside back out to this panel here. So we're gonna take this back off and we're gonna continue working on with that. These actually work really easy. They just slide in underneath here and they press in and they slide right out, just like. We have to grind this down up here just to make sure it's nicely cleaned up. This is nice and smooth. We're gonna drill a bunch of holes around here that we tack weld this thing into, but we're gonna continue working on the inner structure. Now that we know everything's gonna line up, we sandblasted this earlier. It's not the best piece here, but this is gonna go on here. So we're gonna click code this into place. Something like this. So I've got this little wire wheel on my drill. We're gonna use this to get up in the hard to reach places up in here just to clean it up real quick. So we've got this lower section here all cleaned out. So we're gonna Clico that inner structure back in place here and figure out how we need to make this bracket in here and get this all welded into place. Probably make the piece, make sure it fits right, take this section out, start welding it all in here because it's easier to weld it without the panel being in our way. Weld it in this side, put the piece in with the Clicos again, fully weld it in, and then this piece structure here will be in place permanently for good. So right now we're gonna Clico this piece back on right now.
As you can see right up in here, I made this template out of poster board. You can see from the other side too, where it's gonna get welded in and easily box off the inside of this piece in here. We want this to be nice and sealed up inside here because we don't want water getting in here, getting into the hinges and whatnot. And we need to actually add some support to the structure in here. I'm gonna make this piece out of poster board right here. I'm gonna recreate this out of sheet metal, 18 gauge steel. Well, if you take that out, you can see how there's no structure left in here at all. It's all completely rotted out. So this is what it looks like. Um, what I'm basically gonna trace this onto a piece of steel, bend this over on the brake, and it should fit perfectly right up in here like this just like that fits absolutely perfect again i can't recommend this poster board stuff enough and there's still a hole right here right over here can't really see on the camera but there's a hole right in here i'll have to patch up after this section's patched up but we're definitely getting there so we're going to recreate this on steel right now and get this over to the brake so i've got this piece of steel which actually is the perfect shape or perfect size for what we need to do here so i'm just going to set this on here like this i'm just going to trace out the shape i made with my marker and then i know two inches over on the side here is where we need to bend it so we're gonna cut this out. Probably gonna use the jigsaw around here. So here's our shape right here. You can see the black line on here is what we need to bend it at now. So we're just gonna slide this in here, bend it up. There we go. Have it bent at a 90 degrees or pretty damn close to it. This is the shape. So now we're gonna test fit this back into the truck and see how close we are. So right in here, you can see we've got the piece all fit up in there nice and neat. You can see it from the other side, how it patches the big hole that was in there. So I just have to do this, and then you'll see this hole right over here that needs to get patched too. Once we get this piece welded in, this over here will be really easy to put in. Now you can see right here where the outline of our new metal is gonna go. So I'm gonna cut this back just to get rid of some of this crappy metal that we don't need. Alright everyone, that's going to be a wrap for this video. We're going to actually do a little to be continued because this video is taking a little bit longer than I was hoping it would take. I wanted to get everything done in one video, but I'm also trying to give you as much detail as to what it takes to actually replace this panel. So we're going to cut the video right now. We're able to get the crease panel off the truck. We got the inner structure out. We made the patch panels we needed for below. So coming up in next week's video, we're going to work on welding back in the inner structure and we're gonna prime and paint inside, and we're gonna get the panel finally welded on once and for all. So as always, if you like this video, please give it a big thumbs up. Smash that big red subscribe button. Smash that bell notification so you know when I do post future videos. And I'll see you in the next video. Thanks for watching.